Taurus. What's up, Taurus? Oh, the time now is 5.11. Some of you may be born May 5th, May 15th, May 17th. Happy birthday. May uh, 16th, be 51 years old. 52. Uh, May 27th. I mean, oh, some of you may be dealing with a Gemini. I mean, April 27th. Um, yeah. May 2nd. May 11th. Yeah. I feel you guys are the type of energies right now I'm picking up. I'm getting goosebumps. Ooh. Some of y'all are trying to get mentally conflicted, trying to get back on track. Doing what you need to do to get back on track. But I feel like you guys are shutting out, shutting, shutting out, closed up, scattered everywhere, just like these damn cards. Core values, I said May 15th, right? But that's 15, so 15 reduced to May 6th. 15 reduced to 1 plus 5 is 6. So, 6 is following your intuitions, but core values. Follow your heart and make your values a priority. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit, Taurus. The way I felt shuffling those cards is that your mind is everywhere. Trying to get back on track, right? Uh, core values, right? It's like uh, morals, principles right following your heart doing what's right right but what's right for you right what do you want so it's like doing the right thing right for the sake of family right i don't see it too much of friends i see that you're you know but at the same time it's like is this really happiness is this really what you want you see so <laughs> your mind is like you're mentally conflicted you know, it's like searching, you know, it's not searching, but uh, what is what, putting yourself first? You have to prioritize, <laughs> it's putting yourself first, right? But it feels like you're not putting yourself first. So it's like, like getting there onto how you put yourself, how to put yourself first, right? Core values. Spirit saying, follow your heart. But I feel that you guys are being very logical right now. You're not following your heart. Right? So, I always tell people, the mind is where it's at. Right? The mind is what controls feelings. Right? But when it says, follow your heart, that means that you're logical right now. You're doing what's right by people. You're loyal to, you're, you're, you're staying grounded right but is it is not your true happiness where you at it's not it's not so it's like you're not following your heart right now you're being logical i can understand that i could dig it <laughs> i could dig it yes you know but uh spirit is saying follow your heart be true to yourself that is your message be true to yourself Sorry, I have to write this down. <laughs> Before I forget. Because I have a lot of readings to do. But it's being true to oneself. Okay? And um, do what's best for you. Follow your heart. Yeah. And it doesn't matter what people think about you. Is what you think about yourself. Contentment. You see? Contentment. So it's trying to find peace within yourself. Peace. Trying to find that peace. But water. Purification. Um, you guys are going through a rebirth right now. 
trying to purify, purify your soul, your spirit, right? But I feel that you're mentally, mentally conflict, conflicted. But contentment, be satisfied, right? But once you, once you follow your heart, then you're gonna be content and satisfied with the results. Okay, so water. Some of y'all may be dealing with a water sign. Uh, some of y'all may be ha may have water in your chart, but water sign. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But yeah, but I see something around summer. But yeah, you guys are going through a rebirth. So mentally conflicted right now. You know, um, trying to fight fight in the demons. Being logical. But it's not, being logical is not following your heart desires, what you really want. So it's like, it's what other people want, but not yours, you know? So, yeah, core values. Be true to yourself. You are good enough, full moon and Virgo. Some of you all may be dealing with a Virgo, but you are good enough. So Spirit is saying that Again, be true to yourself. You're good enough for anybody, you know? Um, I feel that you, some of you all may be dealing with um, insecurities at this time. Do away with it, all right? This is all about a part of transformation and ascending. So your mind is gonna play, play tricks on you all the time. It's not an easy journey, right? But spirit is saying, you're good enough, okay? It doesn't matter what you have, right? Just be grateful and thankful for what you have. But at the same time, follow your heart and follow your passion and what your true desires are. So if you're not ha happy and, and satisfied and content with where you are, stop being logical and go towards your happiness. Be true to yourself. That's it. Let's keep going. This is... Uh... Okay. Some of you all may have Mooney or Virgo. Some of y'all may be dealing with somebody that has moon in their Virgo or Virgo, but um, don't let anybody, you know, try to make you feel less than what you are because you are good enough. Yeah. yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Power struggle. Again, internal, internal blocks. Mental, mentally conflicted. A power struggle within yourself, but it, this could be in a relationship. This could be contemplating whether you want to stay, whether you want to go. It's like a mental, it's like a back and forth. That's why I felt you know um so you're staying because you feel like it's the right thing to do thinking logical in some cases if you're in a relationship or a family matter or uh a rela whatever the case may be a job right um but then struggling with oneself that you're not happy with that position that you are or you're not happy in that relationship or you're not happy with a family dynamic or you're not happy with where your life is now so it's an inner is an inner conflict fighting with your own demons right mentally conflicted a power struggle find trying to find common ground being logical but it's not what your heart desires okay so being true to oneself and that's the power struggle being true to yourself okay celebration i see three glasses here a reunion uh some type of reunion reconciliation but there's three cups so this may be uh, three people involved, more than one person, but some of you all may be getting a promotion, okay? Um, some of you all may be reuniting with someone. Some of you all may be getting engaged. Some of you all may be getting married because I see commitment, okay? So put a ring on it, all right? But commitment. Some of you all may already be in a commitment that you want to get out of uh, and you want to uh, reunite with someone. Some of you all may be re renewing your vows, uh, but I see Papa Champagne, um, you are good enough. Um, but I see celebration, a celebration, um, and a commitment. So, um, you're going to be satisfied once you follow your heart and be true to yourself. 
That's what it I'm uh, saying. <laughs> There's no other way to put it, Taurus. Okay. No, can't stay. You can't stay stuck just to say that. Um. Yeah. Oh man. What again? Okay, threatened. Wear the mask. Embarrassed appearances. Um, yeah. So wear the mask, right? Hiding your true self. Again, you know. Not really exposing how you feel, right? Uh, threatened, threatened, embarrassed appearances. But you are good enough. Be true to yourself. This is the message for you. I cannot explain it. It can Yeah, but. Um, but you don't, you, you, you know, it's a power struggle, fearful of exposing oneself or fearful of moving forward or fearful, but spirit say, follow your heart. Don't be fearful. Take off the mask, reveal yourself, show you because see realization, pure water again, going through a, re a rebirth, awareness, finding out, coming to light. Okay. So something happened here where something came to light, an epiphany, right? Um, possibly somebody found out something that you did or something, you know, or you're not happy and you came to realization that it's time to move on and you pretended to be, happy, but anything, but you had a realization that, you know, this came to light. So it's a power struggle within a battle within, you know, do I keep pretending or do I wipe this makeup off and reveal my, my you know, my true self? And speak how you know this is the, the the internal battle that you're going in okay alien uh telepathic dream songs uh i feel like you guys are trying to connect or somebody's trying to connect with you on a 5d level okay telepathically all right um but uh, um dreams and songs right but a power struggle um yeah but you're not revealing your your true self or how you feel about people at this time, whether you're in love with somebody or whether you don't like someone or you don't like a boss or you, you just, yeah. But, um, it's being true to yourself. All right. Um, yeah, but pay attention to your dreams and your songs and, um, and your thoughts, because I feel like some of y'all may be thinking about a place or a thing and then it pops up or a person that means that this person is thinking about you as well and trying to connect with you. So picking up their energy. So you feel it kind of be, you feel it to be kind of weird, but it's not weird. This person is trying to connect with you on the 5D. Okay. But you are good enough for this person. You're good enough for anybody. Okay. But most of all, you are good enough. You, you. Okay. Being true to oneself. But um, pay attention to the dreams and songs. You may be thinking about a song. And then you turn the radio on, and the song comes up. Pay attention to the words of those songs that, that you listen to. This person might try to give you a message. Oh, man. Some of you may work in a hospital setting. Doctors, nurses, uh, paramedics. Okay? Yeah. Some of you all, yeah. But um, let's keep going. Wow. Dead. Putting things to an end with people. No more masking yourself. Okay? And New Year's. Wow. Celebration for real, for real. Something happening around the New Year's. Holiday. Okay? New Year, new you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Coming to terms with oneself. Realization. Oh man! Oh ho 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 ho! Obsession. Somebody's obsessed with you, dude. Um, but they're hiding themselves. Um, yeah. <laughs> you may be hiding yourself from people as well. Um, not exposing. But I see you guys very quiet, very stoic, right? But uh, new job. But obsession. Somebody's obsessed with you. You're high. You got a new job again. Some of you all may be getting a promotion. Congratulations. Celebration, which calls for celebration. Um, but yeah, I, you guys are all about money and business. Uh, trying to be logical here. Trying to do, but is it really what you want? Your heart desires. 
right? And muse. But some of y'all, I, I feel um, some of y'all may be getting into boss roles. Boss. Supervisors, managers, directors, okay? But entrepreneurs, but hiring and firing people because dead. So ending people, beginning new journeys, closing out cycles, new cycles beginning, stuff like that. Because new. I see new. All right, but muse, you're gonna be an inspiration to many people. Some of you all may love to wear lingerie, be photographers, um, models. Okay, you're an inspirational. You are inspirational to someone. To yeah, yeah, buddy. Uh, obsession. They looking at your pictures and all that shit. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's keep going. But you inspire many people. Okay, yeah, I see that you guys are becoming single May 9th. Um, yeah, take care of oneself. This is Pentacles, all about your money right now. Um, but if you're not single, I see you guys becoming single. Uh, some of you all may love nature because you all are earth signs. So go out in nature, enjoy it. But I see a lot of abundance growing around you. Some of you all may love to eat grapes, okay? Um, some of you all may have a, a parrot or a parakeet, be animal trainers, love animals. But all about you and your money. Okay, all about you. Focusing on what you want, right? But you're not, okay, justice, sign of Libra. Uh, balancing out your scales. Some of you all may be going to court right now. Um, just contemplating a divorce. Okay, yeah. But commitment um, or getting married, okay? Because uh, the justice system. Some of you all may work in the justice system. Lawyers, paralegals, um, court officers. Yeah, police officers, something like that. Uh, oh, shit. May 13th. Ah, oh, shit. Ten of Cups and Three of Pentacles. Okay, so with the Three of Pentacles, collaboration, celebration. I see Three Cups, right? So, um, I see you guys working hard. Somebody's going to notice your work. All right, um, yeah, but you inspire many. I see people watching you, okay, uh, watching that, the, watching the work that you do. But I see a reunion as well, coming together with someone. But three of pentacles also means separation, so going your own way, working on yourself, working, working hard on yourself, okay. But people noticing you, all right. You you inspire a lot of people. You inspire many, um, yeah. But you guys are working hard right now. But I see separation coming together but too many people here all right but ten of pentacles um happiness i see you guys uh coming together with someone again so uh, commitment celebration um happy family happy kids true love in love core values follow your heart you may meet this person at work for some of you guys Somebody is obsessively, yeah, three of, three of swords. Oh, jeez. So this, possibly you guys were in a third-party situation with someone, um, <laughs> which caused a heartbreak, but um, still thinking about this person. This person is still thinking about you. Alien, trying, telepathic, trying to connect with you. Um, yeah. Yeah. Four of pentacles. This person... Um, is still holding on to this connection um, but I see you guys holding back all right one true feelings all right yeah with the knight of cups Pisces cancer Scorpio somebody's coming in with their cup of love they're in love um, with you yeah three some of y'all may be seeing three threes a lot of threes here some of y'all may be 34 33 three 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 oh, man three 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 is definitely a transformation but this is a um, Trinity um, a spiritual, you, you guys are going through a spiritual thing right now, spiritual transformation, okay? Um. Yes, yeah, Horace, so my phone just overheated and shut off, okay? So you guys are shut off to the world, but I was saying about the threes. So going through a spiritual uh, journey right now, Trinity, finding oneself, being, so that's all about being true to yourself, okay? But three of, of, of wands, somebody's waiting for communication from you. But I see with the three of wands, your ships are definitely coming in. Um, 
with the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, you guys right now are still healing. Some of you all may be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But you guys are holding your cup tight to you, not revealing of oneself at this moment. Okay? Um, yeah. Um, still doing inner child healing for some of you guys. But holding your cup tight to you, not re not revealing of oneself. Yeah, five of cups. Um, really up in your head, deep introspection. Some of you all may be going through a de depressing time again. Um, pretending to be happy, but you're not happy with where you're at. You felt like uh, spill cups, um, you know, with the queen of cups holding your cups, but the love. It's like some of y'all may be drinking a lot as well, <laughs> drinking a lot. And three and three again, three three cups in front of you spilled over, but there's still two cups standing. Um, and I see true love coming in. Somebody wants to come in with their two of cups. Five, trying to connect with you on the five D May fifth. Yeah, you see, some of y'all um, devil Capricorn. Some of y'all may be. Um, Dealing in a toxic uh, environment, toxic relationship, toxic work environment, dealing with toxic people, codependency, addictions, obsessions. But somebody's obsessed with you here, yes. But some of you all may be um, tied up in a, in a toxic situation right now, trying to break free, depressed. Yeah, Seven of Swords, uh, May 7th, uh, 75, 57 years old. But um, with the Seven of Swords, it's... You're trying to you're trying to get away from this decept this toxic codependent, but you're trying to you're being um deceptive at this time. You're not showing your true self. You're not being true to who you are. But this is a using card, using energy. So be careful with using and you know codependent all that shit. Um, but trying to sneak away, trying to get away from this connection, <laughs> being deceptive. Yeah, trying to get away from. A family situation trying to head towards your ten of cups, but how do, how do you how do you do it? Um, but this is having to do with money and codependency. I see children involved as well. Um, yeah, family and finances, but you're not happy. So your core values, yes, but not you're being logical, but not you you're not following your heart. The ten of cups. You see, I feel like you go you coming in union with somebody going towards your ten of cups but being being um uh strategic i would say strategic <laughs> okay You had to be logical here. I see you guys leaving somebody out in the cold. All right, so this person may have been either you or this person may have been in a situation already. Okay, but yes, three of swords again, third party situation here going on here. Um, Having to do with a family dynamic, ten of pentacles. But I see leaving somebody out in the cold but you guys are focusing you guys are worried about your home and your finances but spirit saying don't worry about that yeah you're really you're really up in your head about it but two of cups again two of cups two of cups don't worry about this cups in front of you worry about somebody coming in with their two of cups somebody is a soulmate coming in okay definitely all right but with the justice card balance is going to be restored uh sign of libra some of you all may be going through, through the court system right now okay yeah with the page of cups um maybe dealing with somebody younger but with the page of cups this person wants to start new with you wants to apologize to you wants to just wants to clear 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 things out okay yeah with the chariot uh, um, with the Knight of Swords, I see communication online, communication, social media. Um, but this person is determined to speak with you. Um, they want to. They they waiting for some type of communication from you. Yeah. Um, but with the Two of Wands, 
you're deciding to close old cycles out again closing old cycles out and focusing on yourself walking down the path by yourself okay yeah with the knight of swords i mean knight of coins i'm sorry um person this person is coming in slowly but surely okay and this is having to do with a job as well if you guys are looking um looking for a new job a new job is definitely coming um but once it comes it's going to stabilize you but this person is coming in to build with you but it's taking its time okay but with the full card uh this person is going through a transformation and so are you but i see luck is on your side and the world is in your hand so focusing on your you what you want okay but butterfly transformation you're transforming right now i see you guys taking a leap of faith uh with this person um this person wants to take a leap of faith with you i see you guys moving in together with somebody okay but a lot of luck on your side uh, the full card is Aquarius Aries, okay? But you're being strategic about it. But you got spirit saying, be true to yourself. You got to just fuck it. Say, say what you mean and mean what you say. No more hiding. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so this was just a hookup for some of you guys. Some um, This person may have been in a relationship. You may have been in a relationship, but yeah. But we're in a mask, okay? Hiding. Again, hiding. And this person is hiding their feelings as well. Um, I feel that you guys both have feelings for each other, but fearful to speak to each other. Um, I feel that this person is fearful to speak with you. But uh, a lot of growth here with you. Uh, grass is greener. I feel that it's, it's, this relationship is going to be a lot of growth here with the two of you coming together. But be prepared for, my, uh, for, un, for the unexpected text message, a message coming in, okay? Because this person has romantic feelings for you, and I see that you guys are going to be in a relationship. But everything is happening in divine timing, celebration, commitment. Wow. This is, whoa. Okay. Um, let me get some working cards here. Let me see something here. Spirit saying pull these cards. All right. Let's see. There's a lot going on here. This person may have been in the family, you may, but being strategic about it. How are you going to do it? How? But Spirit saying just be true to yourself. Go after what you want. And that's when you're going to be happy and, and satisfied. Yeah, open up. Yeah. 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 Woof. Oh, wow. Okay, so I did see summer. Yeah, with the dog taking a bath in the summer, the pool. Some of you all may love to swim. Okay, yeah. All right. But somebody's coming in slow and steady. Okay, this is the end of a tough cycle. All right, but spirit saying don't close, don't be closed off. Open up. This person is coming to open up to you. They want to rebuild this friendship. Okay, yeah. A new love. Your soulmate. Okay, this is a new. They're coming in because I don't see this took off. I see that you guys were both of y'all was in a relationship, possibly them and you, and this never took off. It was just a hookup. Okay, but. Um, yeah, generous offer. Um, a lot of money on the, a lot of, a lot of things here. Commitment, <laughs> celebration, collaboration, and it's having to do with work and love. Okay. This is going to be a life changing decision for you. Okay. Yes. But yeah, this is going to be, this is going to be beautiful. I feel it. Taurus is going to be beautiful because this is your true love. This is true love coming in. You know? And this person is waiting for you. Waiting. They're obsessed with you. Fearful to talk to you. Yeah. Elevate. New minds, new mindset. New results. Okay? New. New. New job. Look. New. New love. New job. New love. New, new, new. Elevate your mindset if you want. Don't stay stuck. 
Elevate your mindset if you want to get different results. If you keep thinking and acting the same way, nothing will change your business. Be true to yourself. See? Automate. Passive income. Uh, I see you guys being passive right now. Yes. Develop ways to add passive income streams to your business so you won't, so you don't have to work so hard. Earn some income while you sleep. Give back. I see a lot of money. A lot of money. And you see generous offer. Generous offer. This new job, whatever is coming in, a lot of money. Uh, ab abundance is heading your way. Donate to your community or causes that are close to your heart. It creates the energy of abundance around you and your business. And I see that you guys are going to be a power couple. This person and you. Yes. Out with the old, in with the new. New, new, new. Okay. Set goals. All right. Because you're being strategic right now, but be sneaky about this. Okay. Get a beautiful planner that inspires you and write down your dreams and goals. Then promise yourself that you will make them come true. Stand out. Yeah. Uh, some of you may, may wear glasses or smartwatch. But listen, list ways to bring out, again, list, set goals. List ways to bring out what makes you and your brand extraordinary so you can stand out from the crowd. Stand out from the crowd. And you, get, you definitely do. Right. Again, write, set goals, something about writing. Some of you all may be authors. Some of you all may love to write, but write down how you feel, journals, copywriting. Yes, something about writing. Copywriting is the art of persuasion. Learn how to craft words that speak to the heart of your ideal client. Some of you all may write music. Allow, as far as saying allow, allow everything, all these blessings to come your way. Again, water, purification, a rebirth. Get out of your own way and let the doors of success open for you. Drop resistance and go with the flow. See? Be true to yourself. But anyway, I love you guys, Taurus. I'm possible. You're possible, girl. NC Touch Tie. I'm out.